the Samsung Gear VR. Yes, it looks goofy as hell, but it is pretty freaking cool. It's definitely worth the price of $399 if you actually bought a S7 or S7 Edge recently. Uh, Samsung threw that in as part of a deal for it. But if you actually buy it or bought, got it for Christmas, it will cost you anywhere from 50 bucks to 99 bucks, depending on where you got it from. And Samsung is constantly doing promotions and deals on the VR headset. So if you've recently got one, like I said, or if you're actually thinking about getting one, I want to tell you five apps to get you started. And these are so far my five favorite, favorite apps. I've had the Gear VR now for about four months, I think. <clears throat> and I've had quite a bit of time to play with it. And I got to say so far, these are the five best apps that I found for it. So feel free to check these out or don't, but I'm going to share them with you anyways, because it's my video and I can do what I want. So moving on to the first app I want to share is one that I got for free as part of the rewards when I bought the S7. Like I said, I bought an S7 Edge, so Samsung threw this in and five uh, free apps along with it. But one of those apps, and the first one I want to talk about is Ocean Rift. Now this one is $9.99 if you didn't get it for free. You can buy it for $10 and it's totally worth it. And this is nothing more than, just as it sounds, you're in the ocean and there's various levels where you can look at anything from sharks to whales to dolphins. Um, you can even go to a prehistoric ocean, but it's totally worth it. This is a great one to show off the Gear VR. The graphics look really good. It's super immersive. I was recently home uh, for Christmas and I actually let my grandparents and parents show it, uh, try it out and they were just blown away by it. So it is definitely worth it. This will offer you hours of gameplay and I highly recommend it. So moving on to the second app, which is also a game. And this one is called Affected the Manor Within. And this one will set you back $2.99. But again, don't let the price dissuade you. This is a super fun and scary game. And it is definitely an awesome one to scare your friends and family with. And uh, just like the name implies, this takes place in a haunted mansion. And it's packed with tons of creepy visuals and sound. It is definitely best played with headphones. So if you, just, ugh, if you do get this game, I recommend wearing a good set of headphones. And it's just super immersive. It's full of jump square, uh, jump, I can't talk today. It is full of jump scares, so um, even myself, I played through the whole thing, and it took, takes you about 45 minutes, so it's a good 45 minutes of fun, but it's totally worth the 2.99. but all throughout the game, there's lots of creepy jump scares. I don't wanna show you any gameplay because I don't wanna spoil it for you, but it's totally worth it. It's totally fun to play, so definitely check that out. So moving on to the third app, which is also a game, and this is very similar to Affected, but it's called The Hospital Allen's, uh, The Hospital Allison's Diary. And this one also costs $2.99, but again, it's totally worth it. Like I said, it's very similar to Affected, but it's got a much more immersive story to it. And it gives you more options than Affected, just because it's kind of like a choose your own adventure book, if you remember those when you were a kid. But it gives you more options, and it's more of a game as opposed to affected being more like just kind of like watching a movie per se but totally fun full of jump scares you know it's only $2.99 like I said totally worth it and another one to hand it over to your unsuspected friends and family and just watch them jump so totally worth it definitely check it out and moving on to the fourth app and this one is absolutely free and this one is a must-have and it's actually made by Samsung and it's their very own Samsung VR, VR app and it is essentially a massive library of free content. So if you're cheap, you don't like paying for apps or games, this is definitely the one to get if you've got a Gear VR. And like I said, it is just a massive library of free content. It ranges anywhere from education to entertainment. You know, you can learn about the solar system or you can ride a roller coaster. There's a lot of free roller coaster apps where there's different Six Flags roller coasters where somebody got on there with a 360 camera and you can look around, pan around, and it's, again, very immersive. Uh, for me personally, those ones kind of make me feel ill with motion sickness, so I stay away from the roller coasters. But Samsung, the great thing is Samsung is constantly adding more material to this store, and again, it's all free. So I try and check that at least once a week just to see what's popped up, but there's tons and tons, probably thousands of free uh, videos on there that you can watch. So. 
if I had to pick my favorite out of these five, it would definitely be that one. So moving on to the fifth and final app, and that is Netflix. Now, obviously you've got to have a Netflix subscription to be able to use this, but this is a extremely immersive way to watch your videos. Especially when you throw on some headphones, it's like you're in a theater, because obviously you've got the headset on and it's just a massive screen in front of you. And it's just a very immersive way to watch movies. So highly recommend it, especially um, if you've got Netflix. If you've got a Netflix subscription and you've got a Gear VR, there's no reason not to download this app and try it out. But this, I can imagine, would be really good if you're on a bus or just somewhere where there's a lot of people and you want to kind of immerse yourself and get lost in the movie. Definitely a great one to just veg out with. So, so there you have it, folks. If you've got a Gear VR or you want to get one, go ahead and check out these five apps. And if you know of some more awesome ones that obviously I didn't cover in this video, shoot it in the comments below because I'm always looking for good ones to try out with the VR. So with that, thanks for watching. All right, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, why not hit that like button and help me continue to grow my channel by hitting that subscribe button. When you hit that subscribe button, which there should be one right over here, that gives me motivation and motivation is fuel for me to continue to make great videos. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that button. And if you want to check out a couple more great videos, there should be a link to one over here and over here. Thanks.